Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Signal here and welcome back to another video. So, I'm gonna show you a few fights from Sorades of Zatanna and this is all the way back in Dawn of Apocalypse when I got Zatanna. But this fight just didn't go well enough to be shown on its own so it had to wait a little bit. But yeah, if you wanna see the build, I, I showed it in a previous video, I'm just gonna show it at the end of this video I guess, if you wanna see that again. And yeah, we have Powerbox here on Zatanna in this fight specifically, and I messed up because it's so hard to come when you drop the third, third special. There's just so little of a time frame in which you block, and that's a mistake will haunt me towards the end of the fights. But yeah, special two in there while he's burning, we did that percentage health. Getting back in there. This will not be the only Zatanna fight, we will have one more in this video, so worry not if this seems a little bit underwhelming, because we don't get to see her full potential in this one, I mean we won't get in the next fight either, because of reasons you'll see at that point, but we don't even get to see the full extent of percentage health damage that she does, because Manta is not too high on health. And the, by the way, I clearly killed Manta with the remaining two fights, and I'm 100% not gonna have to fight him again when Dawn Apocalypse comes back, boy. This. But yeah, third special again. Ringish the combo, and for some reason she stopped there, and we get super moved, and that's gonna be the end of this fight. Think I could have survived that super move if I didn't get damage until that point, but it is what it is. Now to a fight that actually did more damage. So when Rise of Krypton came back, I got uh, reminded uh, of the pleasure of fighting boss Batman, and I got reminded that last time the Sorade was live, he survived with 5 million health or something like that, and now he's the only boss alive, so every single team out of my 6 teams has to be funneled against him, and first one is going to be Zatanna. I'm gonna have Dr. Fate here, third special in there. Uh, the nice thing about the third special is that uh, the burning makes you deal percentage health damage against targets that are burning and uh, the third special is going to apply percentage health damage even if the enemy is not already burning when you use it. Because they could have been like, oh, it applied burning, but it's gonna apply for the next specials in terms of percent shell damage. Nah, bro, it applies a bit as well, even though if the enemy was not burning previously. I'm just spamming special 2 for the most part here. It's by far my favorite special. The special 1 and 3rd special are kind of iffy, as I've mentioned, because they both seem to have a little bit of a delay. The 3rd special has a little bit of a short range, and uh, the 3rd special uh, doesn't knock the enemy down. Third special in there to reapply the burning, special 2. Again, getting a little bit more damage in there. Our damage buff is at 300%, so that's nice. Our special 2 in there. I'm just spamming specials here because I fear that I might die when he gets to super move, and I did not die, thankfully. So we get to deal a little bit more. Burning has expired, and yeah, there's the very short range of the third special. I don't know why I felt like it had longer range, and I messed up there and died. So that is so far my Zutana experience in, in Soul Raids. Now, I have a few more fights against this man, if, if you're interested, because I, I also want to share my struggle against this guy. We have Power Girl available and we have King of Plants Sakomen. As far as I remember, we have Nora Snow Globe. And over here, I did the mistake of uh, playing on PC where I uh, clicked off who Power Girl was fighting, and if you click off the emulator somewhere else, your inputs will not register until you click back on. So we got a bit damage there, but that's fine. I'm not gonna use any specials so far because I want the first clone that gets tagged into the fight to have enough um, energy to do one third special before it gets inevitably tagged out and this man um, already has close to super move level of energy. There we go, first clone gets in there, gonna careful gap close here, and third special and he blocked that. So, I was not expecting him to block in time after that jump attack, but he did, so we lost there some damage. Like, to be exact, we lost 70 mil damage on that one, because it was 70 mil done, block, blocks, uh, unless you got to block effectiveness, which bosses don't, 50% of the damage, and the percentage shell damage can be blocked. This, this way, halving it. And yeah, I kind of messed up there and I got another clone tagged in early. This fight is rough, like, because I have Nora Snow Globe, I have next to no passive stats here. But yeah, third special in there, this clone did the job. Got the job done. So I've done with King, we're in a very dangerous position with him as well over here. We have uh, one uh, third special already used, we need to do two more. And this fight will actually be 
Uh, except for that block third special, it will be kind of peak performance. Because one third special is the most you're gonna get out of the clones in this fight specifically. But yeah, never mind. I messed up the combo interruption for some reason and... Um, gets uh, messed up and... Oh, special one. This was not one of my proudest fights. I, I hate this man from the bottom of my soul. But yeah, it is what it is. Did some damage still. Now, the League of Anarchy, look, this man is not immune to dot, okay? You can do dot damage to him. The real problem is you can't really crit against him, and the real, real problem is the Chaos Sagan, which might make the same man think you're not gonna use League of Anarchy here. But uh, you, you know what's more unpredictable than a same person? A dump person, because I let this man being the only boss alive. And it's not something that I do by choice, but I have to use the League of Anarchy here. So we'll see how that goes. He's immune to stun, so Harley is off the table. Coming dropped a bit here. And with Flash, I don't think I have Nora Snow Globe on him. We could have done that to get more damage from Joker's passive, but at the same time, we would have lost all the passive stats if we didn't put a Royal Script on Artifact. By the way, in this fight is relevant, we start to talk about the passive stats of the artifacts. I have um, a level uh, 5 Lex for Port Suit and uh, level uh, 4 uh, Kryptonite Spear. That's what uh, we get in terms of passive stats. And uh, I might have actually done more damage if I ditched one of the artifacts and put Nora Snow Globe on Flash, but I was actually fearing that I wouldn't have enough health to survive this man's damage. Uh, because I need both my characters alive. Okay, Flash is dead. Took us long enough. Now we're gonna cycle in between uh, EPI and Last of Joker. And see how that goes. Joker gets in there. Second special. Trying to push him to a corner. We need him in the corner because we need him to forever stay on the guaranteed crits area. Because the damage is like more than 10 times the damage when we actually get crits. So yeah, desirably we need to keep him in this corner for the entirety of the rest of this fight. Come on, chopped in with EPI. Come on, chopped again, Joker in there. Come on, chopped. Got, got that awkward... Uh, Tagging into tap attack, which you should never do. I think chaos fights kind of happens randomly without you having much say in it. But it seems like I was able to come and chop from it. Like EPI's uh, tag tap attack seems a little bit better than Joker's because it seems to stagger the enemy a little bit more with the shorter animation on her end. But Joker's is a little bit more tricky to come and chop afterwards because he also gets staggered a decent amount after it because he does the the, the cringe spin around. Second special in there. And look at this, look at this. How am I not on the guaranteed criteria? How? Like, EPI is. I mean, she's not actually when we push into a corner. How? Look at that. I have at most times both my feet on the guaranteed crit area and it did not register. But yeah, finally we got to that again. And this fight went well enough, but it's not gonna be a lot of damage because of the inconvenience of the fights. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, oh, I also got to show you again the Zatanna build, yeah, yeah, gonna get to that in a second. Okay, so this is the Zatanna build that I'm running with, it, and uh, I really don't say it's the perfect build, but honestly, since I got lucky with those three epic talents, I think this is actually the best 3-star Zatanna hybrid build you can get. I mean, unless you want to use Dark Metal cards on her, in which case you might want to get more crit damage, so it gets to 500% when she um, gets that equipped. But yeah, thanks again for watching, like the view liked it, dislike to dislike it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! This is the future.